Hey guys, it's Janelle here, also known as Chow Chow 808. Welcome back to another Express Review video. Today I am reviewing Maybelline's new The 24K Nudes Palette. If you're interested in seeing my thoughts about this, please stay tuned. Alrighty, so if you've already read my full on review on chowchow808.com regarding this palette, you're gonna know I had some really great things to say and some really bad things to say about this palette. The number one thing I have to say that I love about the 24 karat nudes palette is the fact that the pigmentation is so much better compared to the other sister palettes. I have tried basically every single one that Maybelline has come out with except for the graffiti nudes and I've always been hoping that it would have that rich pigmentation that the colors look like they would have in the pan but I had always been disappointed but surprisingly when I started using this I was so surprised at how pigmented each and every single one of the colors were I did try out each and every one of the colors I've worn them and I have to say the longevity of it isn't that great the color that I've had the most problems with has to be this color right here so in the picture it actually turns up looking more of a um, more of a khaki green and in pan and in person it looks more of like a brownish gold but in reality it will show up almost like a brown on the lids even with the primer and after about six not even six hours after about like five hours of wear you're gonna start seeing it disappear or just even if you have really greasy lids you're gonna start noticing get noticing it get into the like the little wrinkles in your eyelids so that color is definitely not my favorite but other than that I haven't had really a problem with any of the other colors now I do love the fact that they have added some different colors in here than what was previously given in some of the other nudes palettes. You have a ton of neutral shades, obviously the nudes. Um, the 24K actually comes in with some of the gold tones that you'll get. So like this gold right here and some of these taupes right here and like a little rosy gold right here. So you do get a nice variety of color. I just think that this palette has so much more to offer than the other palettes had. Now that kind of is where the good portion of this review ends and the bad portion begins. My one gripe with this palette is the fact that there is no transition color at all. You have no matte light colors to really transition any of the looks that you're going to use. You have a ton of shimmery ones and that's about it. So I do find myself pulling in other palettes to just finish off a look. Color selection seems kind of bland to me to be honest. A lot of it seems pretty that, like there's nothing really exciting about the color selection. I wish they would have thrown in something a little bit different like maybe an emerald green or a dark jade green something different but yet can still be a neutral look and right here I'm just missing it. There is just something missing from this palette that really pulls it together for me. Also I have to note that they do this with a ton of the other palettes too. But some of these colors look so similar to each other once you apply it that there really is no point in having more than one of it. Like this dark matte brown right here, this matte black, and this shimmery black. Once you apply it, they basically look almost similar to each other. You really can't tell a difference. So I would suggest Xing, like nixing those colors out and replacing it with something different. Also, I hate the fact that majority of this palette is a shimmery finish. Again, you're not giving me a transition color, but yet you're giving me a ton of shimmery colors to use as a crease or transition color. No, thank you. Alrighty, so overall, I give this palette a seven and a half out of 10, even though I think it goes far above and beyond what any of the other sister palettes do. It's still lacking so much of what you need in a basic palette and that is my biggest gripe. I hope you guys enjoyed this express review. If you're interested in reading a full-on review where I go more in depth about the wear and what I noticed using this palette, go ahead and check out chowchow808.com. It will be listed in the description box down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at chowchow808. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you've tried out this palette, let me know what you think about it. I'm really interested to see what other people think because I have to say, this has to be one of the better palettes Maybelline has come out with in a while. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!